Hello everyone, Arturio Ramirez back again. I've quint finished off a few quests here. Several quests as a matter of fact. Um, I mined up a small area which will be the beginnings of my industrial complex down here. So mined this out with stone picks which took forever. And uh, I sieved up enough of the moon rock to complete this quest here. So let's turn that in. I'm going to pick the reward bag. And this one I'm going to take the sterling generator. And for this one I'm just going to pick one. And what else do I have? But no, I guess that's it. So I got two good bags and a basic bag. Let's just look at that basic bag. Marble. Wow. An ender head. Enderman head. That's actually useful. And more lovely dye. Hmm. I'm doing remarkably bad on... Uh, Picking reward bags this time. So let's um, let's do a few things here. So first of all, meteors, fallen meteors. These are received out of moon rock, and um, if they fall on the ground outside and you break them with a pick, you get meteoric iron which is useful for building rockets. If you sieve it from moon rock, you get this fallen meteor, um, which actually is useful. If you put it in a crafting grid, each one of these is worth 12 broken iron ore. Or they're worth broken copper ore. Actually, that's Martian broken copper ore, but still. So they're, they're pretty useful. Don't discount those. Um, I don't need copper yet. I do need iron. So we shall gather up the iron that we have. Um, what else do we need? Bones. I thought I had some clay. I already have the clay. Okay. So we'll take our bones, turn it into some bone meal. And we shall make an unfired crucible. Since you really don't need that many blaze rods, and I'll get a lot more down the road, I'll use that first. And then I'll get some more stone out of it. So what I have decided to do is very quickly, I'm going to make a transfer node. Now, I see on the boards a lot of people complaining about there's no sand, how do you make a transfer node? And it's actually pretty easy. Instead of making a transfer pipe, you make energy pipe exactly like this. And then these aren't terribly useful in galactic science other than making transfer nodes. So I'm actually going to make a couple of these. Get a chest. Oh, wait. I may not have enough redstone to make two of these, but that's okay. I will eventually. Transfer node. And there was much rejoicing. Okay. And you'll see that it actually gave me two quests. Under here, um, okay, unfired crucible complete. And I will pick one of these sugar cane. I don't really need sugar cane. Another basic bag, which will give me a spawn egg. Right. 
So the other quest is, and why do all the work? You get a stack upgrade, which is not terribly useful. What do we get for that? Rocket fuel in a bag. I was bad at math. Is this where you get sucrose? Yeah, I bet it's right there. You make one piece of turf. Or maybe after that one. Let's see if it's safe to go out here. It is not. Alright. Not sure what hit me there. Monster Hunter, yay! Right, get these guys off the roof. That should be safe to go out there. As long as a uh, meteor doesn't wipe out my wall or my roof. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Let's get back over. I missed one. And I may need to get inside. Let me see if I can kill these guys. Let's get inside for just a second here. Eat something real quick. So we can start the regeneration process. Skeletons. Too bad I can't gather up those arrows they're shooting at me. Okay, now. Block of coal. And a crucible and a small amount of cobblestone. Let's do this downstairs. So I don't want to risk having any of this stuff get blown up by meteors. Ah, stupid ladders. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig a little hole. I'm going to put the block of coal there. And the crucible I will put on top of it. And you'll see it's got a melting speed of 1.0 which is not phenomenal. Okay. Just start getting set up down here. This is going to take a little bit of time, maybe as much as five minutes, to make that first bucket of lava. And the first bucket of lava is going to go towards increasing the speed of making the second bucket of lava. Because I'm going to replace that block of coal with the first bucket of lava I produce, and that will double the production speed. Okay, so I'm going to need a hammer. make two. And this broken ore, 
which really did not take that much sieving to get because of the two um, fallen meteors that gave me 12 ore, broken ore apiece. Uh, they're actually very, very good for getting iron initially. Just uh, make our first little bit of iron here. Yep, can't quite put another one in there. So we're a quarter of the way to our first bucket of lava. So that being said, aha, I have a bucket as a quest reward. That will come in handy shortly. That means I won't be wasting iron on that. Take this charcoal and cook up some of that iron. Let's see what time it is. And it looks like it's about three quarters of the way through the night of the first day. That is my rough estimate. Okay. So what I'm going to do is right here. Put these water source blocks as soon as I get that out of there. And this, eh, this is all a relatively temporary setup. This will all eventually get um, torn down and redesigned into something better looking. Bucket of water which should satisfy a quest here, I believe. And titanium, we will drown in titanium later, so we will take the quest bag. Reward bag, another basic bag. Spawn zombie. Those may be useful later on. Um, at some point I'll need zombie flesh for various quests. They just won't be useful immediately. Let's see, there's our 10 iron. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna make one of those because that's gonna be useful soon. I'm gonna put that away. And let's see where we are. So a bucket full of lava will give me an ender lily seed, which I'll need to plant as soon as possible, and then immediately I believe one piece of cobblestone will give me something, um, possibly the decomposer. So here's what we shall do. We shall cook a little bit more stone. There we go. And let the rest of that cook. Okay, stone barrel, which will come in handy in a moment. Forgot my barrel. I 
Have I not made a barrel yet? I thought I made a barrel. I did make a barrel. transfer node right there and we are two things short of having a cobblestone generator. A world interaction upgrade and a bucket of lava. So now I'm torn because I had said I want to take that first bucket of lava and use it to replace this coal block so that we get rather than one time melting speed we'll get two times melting speed. But if I take that bucket of lava and I put it right there I believe with quest rewards I will have my transfer node uh, the world interaction upgrade to go into the transfer node. Uh, let's look at some of these real quick. Are there any of these that I'm missing out on that I have not turned in that are close to finishing that I could turn in? Is that uh, that gives speed upgrades? Diamond sword, which I don't need. No, it's not any of those. I believe as soon as I get a bucket of lava for this one here, the follow up quest is purely just asking for one piece of cobblestone, which, yeah, I've still got one piece of cobblestone. And get rid of that water, and we shall take that lava. Actually, we'll hold on to it for a second, so I can turn that in. Ender lily seed, must pick ender lily seed. You will kick yourself if you do not. Aha! World Interaction Upgrade and a Chemical Decomposer. Um, for the ones you pick, the Speed Upgrade, because I'm going to get five soon for another quest, pick the World Interaction Upgrade. Well, I think my inventory is too full. Right, let's temporarily get rid of that. There we go. So now we take our bucket of lava, we put it there. For right now, I'm going to put both of those in there. And voila, cobblestone generator. And pick that back up. And we'll let that run for a little bit. And so here it is. Let's look at that again. Daylight in a few minutes, have a cobblestone generator. Which is one of the first things you need. Let's put that away. Clear out some room. Chemical decomposer. The seeds go there. And then I guess what's left of the iron will go there. Technology chest will get the sterling generator. I'll be setting that up shortly. I'm basically just waiting for the sun to set. Okay, no spiders at the moment. creepers, some zombies, and the sun should shed, should rise in just a couple minutes. There we go. That's better.
and look how quickly we've already got seven stacks, almost eight stacks of cobblestone in just a matter of minutes. So we'll have our second bucket of lava in a moment. Alright, where were we? Okay, I was bad at math. Step one, 10 sucrose. There is a chance I have 10 sucrose that you get as a quest reward. Greater reward bag. Maybe we'll get something good this time. Lava tank. Very useful, very, very useful for initially making obsidian. Okay, so now create a chemical synthesizer. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of iron. That takes 23 iron and a diamond. And I believe as a quest, quest reward, I believe we can get one. So, decomposer. Come here, Mr. Decomposer. I have need of you. At some point, all of this needs to get moved downstairs as well. Okay, stone barrel, lava tank. And a supply of water. So, the barrel can go right there. Don't want to create a spawn spot, so we'll put a torch up there. Grab a bucket of water. Oop. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it is fixable. All I have to do is dig out that block there. And this is, will be somewhat annoying because it's going to be in my way. That reward. Grab a bucket of lava, put it there. Generator is back in business. Let me grab up these torches that got washed away and put them back down. Bucket of lava underneath there. And now we have two times melting speed for producing lava. Because this, this tank only holds 16 buckets of it, and I've already used two. So that won't last us very long. But this here is what I like to call a Gumby Obsidian Generator. And the way it works is you grab a bucket of lava right click on the barrel now it says it has obsidian in it right click on it and it pops out and you have to go get it now what's great about this nope that wrong one let's just empty that real quick but first we shall swap our oxygen Give me just a minute here. We'll go get this working. Start using this power here. And first up, we'll charge up those oxygen tanks, and then we shall make use of this decomposer to make some silicon dioxide. What I'd really like to do is I'd really like to get far enough 
to make sand and then be done for the day. Because that seems to be everybody's sticking point. So each obsidian you make gives you one piece of sand. But it'll make you 16 pieces of gravel. And gravel is a much better thing to sieve than moon rock for the various metals. And also you can't get gold from moon rock. There's, there's stuff that you can't get from moon rock. So. Okay, so that's 12. That's a pretty good start. And eventually we will automate all this so it will be much easier and it will produce all kinds of resources for us besides just obsidian. Okay. that in the technology bin. We don't need some of these things yet. And that block of coal does not actually need to be a block of coal anymore. It can go back to being something useful. Redstone. We don't have enough redstone to do another one of those. Let's look at the quest book. Moon turf. Okay, this should be nearly done. Not enough power. Ah, the decomposer is filling. Okay. So since that's working anyway, it gave us some water, which will give us some of this stuff. Okay, now to make moon turf. Oops, I have to decompose another piece of silicon dioxide. Oh wait, that is moon rock. Which one is moon turf? I think it's three. Yeah, moon turf. 100% complete. Um, choose iron, because iron is a better choice. And now we have more stuff unlocked. So we already have hydrogen, silicon, we need 10 of those, easy enough. Now that we have a ready source of uh, obsidian. Give this just a minute to work. Okay, now I just need some cellulose. Let me see if I have any logs or if I have to go out to get them. I do, oh, I do have logs, they're right in my inventory. Just 10. Okay, that's complete and I get a synthesizer. 
Do I have room for it? I do not have room for it. Okay, let's put some of this stuff away. So now I have uh, the makings of a power system. I've got uh, an initial Stirling generator, I've got energy conduit, chemical synthesizer, um, pretty much everything I need as the basics for generating power. Uh, where did I put my iron? Did I? I did not use all that iron, did I? Hmm. Another energy conduit. Yep, the sun is just about to rise. So these guys are about to go bye-bye. Ah, there's my iron. There's my energy conduit. Okay, I'm going to need that eventually. Synthesizer. And let's grab some of this, and we shall make some glass. Let me see if I can remember the formula. Nope. Glass. There we go. So that will give me, I don't need quite that much. I just need a little bit of glass to get me going. There we go. And then um, I will need some of these. So let's make a few of those. Ah, I'm power limited. This little star system only produces so much power. Which is why it's important to get going on the uh, uh, Sterling system. And there we go, our first little supply of uh, produced gravel. So we'll stash that away. So there you go. Sand without it, uh, the starting point of having sand to start with, how you manufacture sand. All right, I guess I'm gonna call it there for now. And um, the next time you see me, I'll have uh, hopefully the beginnings of a power system going and at least a little bit of automation going. So by the dawn of the second day, you basically have all of the components you need to really start your automation going. You have a, a cobblestone generator, which will produce quite a bit of cobble very quickly, lava generation, which you use to generate obsidian, and you use the obsidian to create gravel, sand, grass, or uh, dirt rather than grass, pods oil, lots of other things. And uh, that's really the basics of what you need to get going. Tree farm for wood. Um, I have everything to succeed here now. And um, next time we'll see that. Thank you for joining me, Arturio Ramirez, signing out.